this brand of bait is by far my favorite brand so far. Everything that I've used. It's three nine three forty nine a pound right now. It ranges from two ninety nine to three ninety nine depending on the season. But every time I bought this, it's a one pound brick, and the squid is always fresh, white, clean. It's really good bait. So if you see this in the market for a good price, you should get it. You'd expect it to be a little bit more, but it's usually the same price as the loose stuff. But anyway, today we've got a couple things we're gonna do. Me and Daniel are gonna have a little competition. We're gonna see who can catch the most fish, and see who can catch the most species. After that, the tide is gonna drop down to about a negative 1.6 later, so it'll be a perfect chance to go poke polling. If I do catch a monkey face prickleback poke polling, then I'm gonna catch it and cook it. So that's on the agenda for today. So in my tackle box here, I've got a bunch of things, uh, two odd hooks. That's what Daniel's gonna be using. Beside, behind that, I've got size four hooks, and that's what I'm using. Now we're both using a high-low rig, and Daniel chose to use two size two odd hooks on his. He also chose to use squid as bait. Now if you just use squid, it kind of isolates yourself to just rockfish. But I'm using shrimp because I know perch and rockfish, they both bite on that. So in case you're trying to catch the most fish and the most species, probably a good idea to use something that both fish like to bite. Now it's really rough out here, a lot rougher than we were expecting. There are a lot of rocks to the right of us and I was expecting them to calm it down a little bit on the left side. That's where I was planning to cast out to, but I had to change my strategy. I think I'm going to change up my strategy and cast out a little bit farther because that's where it looks like there's a lot less white water. I'm going to put another piece of shrimp on here. So I'm using a new reel today. It's a pissy fun reel that I got and I got to say, I'm not just saying this, but it is really smooth. I'm beginning to like it. This is like my first day where I'm going to be using it all day. So I'm going to put it through the test. I lost a piece of shrimp, so I'm going to get another one. I'm also using an 8 foot power stick by Offshore Angler that I bought from Bass Pro Shops. Oh yeah. That's the spot though. Yep. If we're casting out from over there, that's pretty much. Kinda. Pretty much right in the middle too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, you saw that dude. Nah, I didn't. I think I found the hole. Oh god! Oh man, I think I might have to go. Ah, this guy. Take my spot. Oh, got one. Yep, I got one. Oh, too bad we're not doing first one, first fish though. Uh, oh, come on, no, 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 don't get wrapped up though. Oh, oh, oh a little perch. All right. <laughs> first fish. All right, I'm on the board with the most fish and the first fish and the most species. Well, actually, we're just doing two. I have the lead. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going for whatever bites. Last time I cast, I got a bite immediately. Oh, I got a bite again. I don't want to tell Daniel though, but I got a pretty big bite. I think I got one. Yeah, I got one. There's another one. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger this time. Check this guy out. A lot bigger than the other one. These perch like to stay in schools, so if you catch one, chances are there's a bunch of them around there. Just cast in the same spot, chances are you'll get another one. Tails just said he thinks he had something big. Probably a big perch. Probably a perch, dude. Oh, it's stuck? Actually, I have a feeling that the perch moved over here. Oh, there's a big one, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I got one. Went into a hole for sure. Pretty sure I still got it. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> I told you. Cub green. <laughs> cub greenling. Yeah. Nice. Pretty price too small. So got a cub greenling. These guys need to be at least 12 inches. But even if he was legal, I would throw him back. And they're pretty.
delicate or fragile. They die really easily, just like trout. They're also known as sea trout. So I'm gonna release this guy pretty fast. All right. I'm gonna take a break, have some lunch, and let Daniel try to catch up. Perfect. Shoot, I just can't do it. Can't catch an eel today. It's really cold right now. I've only got some shorts on and the wind is picking up. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'm coming out back here tomorrow because it's another low tide for a couple more days. And I'm going to catch an eel tomorrow. I can guarantee it. I'm gonna catch at least two and I'm gonna cook one of them. I'll release the other guy. So one of them won't be so lucky, but the other one will be, be free.